This is a segment that we call Preventative Medicine. Yes, it's brought to you by the Open Society Initiative for West Africa, OSIWA. This week, we want to hear from the experts on COVID-19. This is Professor Rosemary Audu, the Director of Research at the Nigerian Institute for Medical Research. Watch. In emerging infectious diseases, a threat in one country is a threat to all countries. Yes. Benny, that, that is what I've been saying all this while. I've been saying the same thing. Listen. In Lagos State, we found about 23%, and uh, meaning that uh, about 23% of the population had been exposed. So transmission is still ongoing. Yeah. Transmission is ongoing. And from what we know, in other parts of the world, the deadly Indian variant called Delta is the dominant one across the globe. Watch. If we have about 70% of the populace having antibodies, then we can say we have reached there. We have only about a quarter or less, you know, of our population that have acquired antibodies. We are still far from getting there. So what are the recommendations? So I will still encourage people to still observe these uh, 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 non-pharmaceutical measures. Let's just still be patient until, and then go for vaccination once offered. That's exactly the same thing that I've been saying, isn't it? I'm a good doctor, you know? So if we're hearing that there is an outbreak third wave in our country, we should just put our house in order and right. ensure that we don't, uh, we, we don't just fold our arms and get caught unprepared. Coronavirus is so stubborn that we need to remain cautious. In the meantime, wear your mask, wash your hands, maintain social distance, follow health officials' guidelines, and stay safe. Only those who made it alive at the other end of the pandemic will get a chance to tell the stories.